Hello viewers, welcome once again to Asasi TV, where we bring you live documentation and interview about everything arts and aesthetics. Today we are back in the studios of Mr. Morris Fumbley to get interactive with him once again. Yes, it's a spotlight on Mr. Fumbley. So subscribe, like the video and share. Okay, so let's okay, go Mr. See. Morris Fumbley, uh, thank you for having us once again. The last time we were here, we got to know a lot about Mr. Morris. And today we are here to talk a little about your works. Um, we want to start with these two works that we see uh, behind us. Now, we want to know the idea behind the work, the conceptual ideas, the thing, and even um, the title of the works and the medium that you use. So if you can take us on uh, that briefing. Okay, thank you very much, once again. Uh, my greetings to your cherished viewers. Thank so, you. Um, what, what, what I actually did here was based on a, 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 a simple concept, well, let's say a singular concept, then I break them down into sub themes. Yeah, it's actually a project that I've been working on and I'm still going on. Yeah, so this this whole concept is who is the monster, who is the man? Oh, wow. Yeah, who is the monster, who is the man? It's actually an asset based on sexual addiction. Okay. Or sexual immorality. Okay. Yeah, today in, in our world in Ghana here, we see this uh, LGBTQ plus going wow. on and uh, a lot of controversy. It's, it's really yeah, going they, on. Actually, there's like a voice to it. Um, like it puts up questions. Yeah. About this this um, one there is um, about, no, the title for this work is Brain in Condom. Brain in Condom. Wow. <laughs> Such a name. Yeah. Brain in Condom. Yeah, you can actually, actually see the brain and, excuse me, say the condom. Yeah. So, wow. The, the reason why I can see the brain and see the condom is because I added a, a taste of hyperrealism. Okay. And then I added a taste of abstract abstractism yeah, yeah. to it. So so abstraction and then hyperrealism coming together, another person will say this is realistic. Realistic. So what I would say is it still falls under my philosophy. Under enigma. My, enigma. It is enigmatic. It's something that you think about it and you'll be like, oh, why why should the brain be a condom? Can a brain actually even go into it the size of a condom, this and that? Yeah. So, um, what I actually did behind this work was, you know, a lot of people ran away into the, the shelves of condom trying to say that they're having safe sex. The word is safe, safe sex. sex. So, they have safe sex. And then, you know, what this condom is actually preventing is you uh, having babies. Okay, fine. So, with thinking about these kind of things, I actually... You know, thought of it that okay, fine. If you are able to prevent physically or biologically from having babies, you know, from taking a seed with the help of these contraceptives like condom and the other stuff. Yes. What about the other babies you have in your mind? Wow. That's quite true. <laughs> yes, the other babies wow. you have in your mind. Because when whenever you have sex with someone, it, it is a it's a whole deeper uh, kind of a conjunction because so it's like not just saying, you know about these babies in your brains and like it, it's more or less like a psychological aspect that I'm trying to pull into you know the physical realm. Okay. So it's more or less like you know there are some people who become addicted because of certain things that they did, though they might have had contraceptives pre preventing them from having biological babies. They they what about the contraceptive that will prevent you from you know so at the very top of the, the topmost part of the work, you yeah. see, yeah, I depicted, you know, with some strokes and some shapes trying to, you know, accentuate the <coughs> action of um, sex. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you can see that. Yeah, you can see something like a man and a woman oh. behind, you know, doing that. It, it's, it's more or less like a dreaming, a dreaming form, like an illusion. Okay. Yeah. That's what I, I use to okay. take this whole uh, nature of That's the brain. That's very interesting. Yes. That's very interesting. Wow. So let's go, let's go to this yeah. one. Yeah. So this one is actually who is the monster? Who is the man? Wow. It's, it seems your titles, your way, are quite interesting, quite extraordinary. That's why. I see this, maybe, maybe I will name this the man and the monster. 
mm. or the half man, half monster. Yeah. But who is the man? Wow. Yeah, I actually named it who is the monster, who is the man, because, you know, trying to put this um, concept into realism or trying to put this concept into being, I actually put myself in the shoes of an addict. I try to feel what they feel. You know, wow. is it their fault? Is it their mistake? Is it something that they do deliberately? Or wow. You know, what, I used to ask myself this question that if you lose self-control, who controls you? Wow. You understand? So it's more or less like, you know, so right now, looking at if somebody is, is, is an addict, is a deep addict, feeling this kind of, you know, um, ills of the sexual addiction or sexual immorality, the question that I ask myself is, looking at this person right now, so who is the monster and who is the man? man. Is he the man or is he the monster? He has, a, he has good in him and then he has that bad in him. So what's actually in play right now? We have an inner man that we all believe that we have this inner man which makes us do all good, all type of good things. But what about that inner monster which is not spoken of? So that's why I try to that's quite that's quite deep. All this. Yeah, and then this this actually you know pointing fingers straight to this word called last. Wow. Yeah, and last 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 is a is, is an unseen package. It's an unseen thing that comes in different different packages. We have masturbation, we have lesbianism, homosexuality, the gays, we have the bestiality, those that sleep with animals, we have pedophilia, those that sleep with children or kids. You know, that whole lot of stuff with the transgender going on and all those stuff. So, you know, I, I see that it's, 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 it's last coming in different, different, different packages. Yeah, different forms. So, who I call the monster actually is not the gay, it's not the lesbian, it's not that person. It's actually the last. That is the monster. Wow. There. Because wow. you know, look, when somebody is masturbating, when somebody is being doing the act of lesbianism, or somebody is trying to sleep with a horse or a goat, it is it is all for one thing. It's all for the orgy. It's all for the climax. It's all for the orgasm. And who needs that orgasm? It's the last that is hidden within. And last is not from outside. Last comes intrinsically. So it's not it, it, it comes from within. And that's that's what I try to portray there. So who is the monster? Who is the man? Mm-hmm. So I, I try to, you know, looking at this work, you feel this kind of tension. You feel you feel tension and at the same time you feel calm. So I actually try to, you know, put that paradigm together. The paradigm of calmness, sadness, and the paradigm of you know loud, being loud you can, you can and rowdy in you know, the other side. Yeah. So you can feel that steam over here and you can feel that loudness over here that brightness over there actually this side kind of depicts a monstrous desire or monstrous nature of this man that i try to depict over there and then this side actually depicts his, his innermost feeling sometimes uh, somebody will do something and regret later on that why did i do that you have this three minutes of you know intense desire and later you could have three years of regret. Regret. You understand? So it's, it's, it's more or less like, you know, what goes on within and what goes on outside. So looking at this part over here, you see, you see that all, not all that glitters is gold. gold yeah. yeah, that's why I, I made this eye to glitter over there. And then, you know, when I talk about pleasure and desire or lust, anything that lasts is glitters. That's what brings that attention. And that will pull this man to what he is actually trying to see or he's actually seeing. And then, you know, right within uh, what I, I depicted and called the eye, you know, within the eye is, is, is more or less like a monstrous, you know, people. That yes. is there. It's That's not it. like a, a human eye. Normal human eye. Normal human eye, yes. Because I try to depict something beyond what we see in the physical. Even in the scriptures, Jesus says something, or, or it is written in the scripture that. Um, it is not only when you lay the woman that you slept with that person. You need to think about it. To think That's about right. it. Yeah, so th- that thinking about it even goes into the brain economy. Wow. <laughs> the all, so all the so everything is intertwined. Kind of it, it's just linked. And then you have the brains imagine how it's here. You wow. get what I'm trying to say. And then there are some horns. You know, when somebody begins to go horns, it's, it's more or less like the person loses control of his self, his discipline. You know, you say that somebody's pompous, somebody's filled with pride, somebody's filled with this, this and that. 
it's, it's more or less like growing horns. That's that's how we depict it. You get what I'm trying to say. And then coming down here to is is uh, the imagery or something that I, I call like the 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 actual actions of lust. That that's what you can see. There. That's what you can see there. You can see the lesbianism and the gays going on wow. in there. And I just limited it to these two because I didn't want to go too wild too into other Even what aspects. What you are saying is really deep. It's really deep. It's really deep. It's really deep. It's, there's so many parts into one picture. That is it. And then looking down to this side, you can see you can see this this thing that is coming out of the nostril, the nostril. like a zoo. Uh, I actually put that thing there because you know whenever these things are happening in, in bed or let's say these sexual things are going on, it, it, it's really nasty. Most of the times it's really nasty, but then because you are feeling the pleasure and everything that you want to you know achieve that orgasm that you want, it would re- look. It doesn't nasty. really matter to you. It doesn't really matter how nasty it, it would be. But then looking down here to you can see the tentacles. Yeah, you know, these tentacles are something that, you know, when they get hold of you, you can't control yourself. No, you can't, you can't, you, 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 you can't, can't get free. It's you really can't, hard to yes. break free. So I use that side to, to, uh, to represent something like a chain that is wow. locking that person. Wow, wow. You understand? Wow. Yeah. And wow. then this, this tooth, this tooth that is coming out, it's, it's more or less like the control. You like all these things stand for the control over this person. For, from the letter of head, I think we should get time. Yeah. To take your words one by one and really go deep into it because sure. there are a lot packed into one. Sure. Really Brilliant. a lot packed Brilliant. into one. Brilliant. Viewers, <laughs> as you can see, really <laughs> multi talented. Really multi talented. I love this man. Really multi talented. You can see, you can, you can actually feel the painting talking. So, so Morris, um, you've seen, we talked about some of your paintings. Sure. Now, lastly, and briefly, let's talk about this sculpture piece. Well, I'm I'm really dumbfounded <laughs> when I saw this work, and it's it's really massive. Now, take us through it. Take us through it briefly. Yeah, actually, there's a work I call transformation. Yeah. Wow, transformation. Yeah, because um, it it talks about the mutation of you know one's nature into another form. Yeah. Now, looking at all these works, you could feel the male figure more. Than the female, more figure, dominant, more dominant. But then with this sculpture piece, I wanted the female figure to, to be kind of dominant in the work. Wow. That's why I added a full female figure, a full nude, like the a half nude female figure, and then the male figure wow. to to it. Actually, this work is talking about how one you know transform from being just a simple guy, a simple lady who enters into this kind of sexual addiction and then becomes wow. really, really addicted. Wow. So now it's like their nature change, the way they talk, the way they act, the way they feel things, the way they behave in certain things kind of change. So now I actually depicted these um, figures in a kind of um, mirth nature, like they, wow. they, they've entered into a certain realm of orgasm, like okay. a, a certain realm of achievement, like they are lost within themselves. Yeah, so that's why I depicted this female figure in the very nude form, yeah, showing her breasts, and you could feel something like a cut within the cut. breast, yeah, showing the inner part of the breast, and then you could feel these parts, and then the limbs are not complete just because of one simple fact: the lack of self-control. Wow! <laughs> and then it is, it is it is a human figure, or in the human figure, we we, we say it's your hand. That will use to control everything. So if your hand is not there, how do you control yourself? Wow. So it's more or less like a, a, a figurative kind of speech that I, I, I added there. That's why the, the male's hand is, is kind of amputated or shot. And then it's linked or connected to this hand. Now, okay. actually, going back to who is the monster, who okay. is the man, okay. it, it's, it's kind of influential here because I added a figurative form of a monster Okay. Like a formless living okay. orgasm, like a, a like a snake, but it's not a snake. It's a form. It's just a formless. Yes, a formless here. orgasm, kind of you know, climbing or crawling from the base of this work right up to the apex. Wow. Looking at the man, and then the way it looks at the man is like it has lobotomized the man. Okay. Like it's in a form of a way that it is controlling, it controlling this man in in a kind of the senses okay. from the mind. 
and then looking at looking at this part of the eye you could see that it is very white right. there is no pupil showing which like shows it, it, it's, it's some kind of trance yes like a trance perfectly it's like a kind of a trance which is being controlled by this tiny little monster over here wow. yeah now this monster comes from this first part of the vehicle and there's a second part of that vehicle that are yeah, produced here. Now, they, with this, I use the male and female sex organ to do that vehicle. And then the orgasm, within the orgasm, came out the monster itself. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I used to, you know, portray this kind of... Uh, wow. And then you can see the woman is, you know, deep into trance, like... Wow. Yeah. Wow. So this is in brief. In no, brief. Sure. That's that me in brief. In brief. Wow, viewers. I, I can't say more. Can't say more. This is really a multi-talented contemporary Ghanaian artist. And I think I think he's he's he's, he's really great. Uh, he's he's up there. Now, as we said in our part one video, you can contact him and you can even see his works on his Instagram page, fun underscore boo underscore H. 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 Wow, that's amazing. And you can please if you can uh, Mention your contact number again. Uh, All right, zero five four nine eight five one nine six eight. You can call anytime, and he's ever ready to respond and engage you on. Now, so this brings us out, uh, brings us to our end of this video, and there's more to come. There's more to come. So share the video and just keep glued to the channel. Mm -hmm.